He has his granddaughters here to help him out. Demon 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we got his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the front lines to see it for himself. It wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. The pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing the stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got Pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for a Rouge's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erujian princess rallying her people on the Erujian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arusha, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal Birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circum-Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harley. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erujian forces. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. After you bust through, 
secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. Operation area, imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Evac evacuate now. Enemy radar presence confirmed. Requesting response. Spotted. The mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Spotted. The mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Spotted. The mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. formation in the clouds.
Trigger, you're a third of the way to the rendezvous point. Good job, but stay focused. you can take up here. Just go with your gut. Don't worry. We're watching over you. Situation normal. Nothing sighted. You're making good progress, Trigger. Currently halfway to your rendezvous point. Look, I'm not gonna lie, it's just gonna be you and your radar out there. Just know, you got a bunch of people pulling for you. And I'm one of them. Tighten the launch. Status report. How could anything slip to our anti-air radar net? Increasing alert. Silence is now lifted. The auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. We're securing Sea Goblin's landing zone. Understood. 
shortly. Eliminate hostile anti-air before that. Sites are down.
Rescue craft tagged on. Initiate. Rescue craft on the ground is defenseless. Gollum and Mage, destroy all hostiles. It's been a long journey, but you're on the home stretch. Gargoyle will stand by near the space elevator. Goblin. Heading over to the express location now. Run for the container!
Heading south. Provide support. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ 101, forerunner for Arsenal Bird. The big bird is coming, huh? Mage, protect Mother Goose 1. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Golem 1 will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those A holes. Gollum 2, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Wilco, forming up.
been hit. Other Goose One has been hit. Colonel Johnson, respond. Mage Squadron, assess the situation. This is Mage One. I have Mother Goose One in my sight. Cabin's fine, but the cockpit's not looking so good. Colonel Johnson, are you okay? Passing waypoint 
The UAVs are continuing their attack. They're obsessed with that transport. UAVs launching a personal bird liberty headed toward the AO. Mage, destroy those UAVs and keep Mother Goose One safe. Mage Two, clear out the bogies near Mother Goose One. Mage Two, Mage Two. Oh my God, Mother Goose One has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mage 2 fired that. There was no chance. A friendly missile hit him. Verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose 1 exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the element. The Rusian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage 1, there's a trigger. <sighs> trigger was the closest. UAVs were crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye on the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. Trigger, you can't fly for a while. You understand. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Trigger, you are suspected of assassinating a former president. There will be an inquiry. There will most probably be a court-martial. Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, it must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Day after day after day after day they bombed us. Osea didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job, and one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's gotta be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate. A guy they brought here a little while ago. 
Get this, talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling, the president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa, and why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks. All right, guys, I'll let you in on some juicy info. The new guy was found guilty by the International Union Peacekeeping Forces Court Martial. He is the murderer of Harling in the flesh. His tack name's Trigger. Now, as of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. Every last one of you has been incarcerated for one reason or another. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how to fly, and HQ needs to plug the deficit in our Air Force. So they proposed sending you guys on a reconnaissance mission to the Waipolo Mountains. But that idea was flat out rejected. Nope. You'll be atoning for your crimes right here at this base. This base is a decoy designed to draw enemy fire. And as members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. This will allow our forces to safely prepare a counterattack. Incoming! Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay. I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Again? Wonder how many will lose today. Uh, better than solitary. No mini Enemy aircraft detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Some of those piles of junk can at least take off. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. We'll start with Harling's murderer. We don't expect you to down any bombers. But what we do want is to make them think that we've got an active base here. Convicts, proceed with your mission now. Follow orders, Trigger. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Control, would you kindly send me up first? Spare A, Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. All aircraft preparing for takeoff. Watch out for Spare A. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take up command. Any objections? That'll get decided in the skies. <laughs> Too shit. Trigger your call sign is spare 15. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. Commencing deception and interception. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. Woohoo! My blood's boiling! Toss the chump in solitary once he gets back. If he makes it back, back can you land your ass as Champ's gonna survive? Anyone wanna bet on it? Spare 15. Take off confirmed. 
Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles again. The FCS is locked. Damn. You're good. Let's make this more interesting. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. <laughs> Here comes Harling's murderer. He shot two missiles right between old Harling's eyes. <laughs> Always in the know, aren't you? <laughs> in this war, intel is a life or death matter. Settle down. Excited to have another murderer with you? Yeah! This is Bandog. Spare 15, I'm handling surveillance. The bombers that attacked the runway are coming back for another round. I know it's just a dummy runway. You guys just need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atoning for your crimes. Much appreciated. <laughs> one more thing. Any aircraft leaving the operation area will be shot down. You hear me? Righto. Nicole. Nicole. 
bunch of convicts to just put on a show? Destroy the targets. You're being slow. Putting that down. I'm surrounded. Wow, look at Trico. Lucky shot. Watch your mouth. area. Missile. 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 
Listen up. Shoot down everything carrying bombs. Weapons free. You're clear to engage. Show no mercy. Right be done by now. Have to rethink the odds. Want to bet which one of us gets the first kill trigger? Tell us after the start. This is the first. If counts going forward, I decide when you die. All right. I'm assuming command. All aircraft support me. Who's gonna dance to your line tune? I'll show you all how it's done. Spare 15. Bandit splashed. Trigger, keep an eye on your head count. We can compare later. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that report. Get dressed up real pretty. Go. Radar pinged. Incoming hostile group detected. Take care of them. Bandit on my face. I know. A bomber's at high altitude. Stop watching your own asses and look up. Head to the next target. Allow me to educate you. Stay within the in this unit, area. you get your tail marked with scratches. The more scratches, the more hate is the crime. They're called sin lines. You have three scratches, right, Trigger? Well, you are Harling's murderer.
slow on a challenge. Don't let it go to your head, murderer. Multiple bandits inbound. They got bombers and support. All aircraft follow me. You too, murderer. Jeez, now he thinks he's squadron leader. Trigger, don't get shut down now. I got good money riding on your survival. <laughs> Some guys have got big money riding on you going down, so watch your back. Square 7, shut up. You don't need a yap to pull the trigger. Shit! I missed! We're 
Shut up. 